Here's Reefers. Today we're gonna to be going over a quick tank update. Let's get it. Awesome Reefers, thanks for tuning in today. As always, before we get started, please hit that subscribe button for me. Really appreciate it. The more subscribers we have, the more content we can continue to make for you. As I mentioned, today's episode we're gonna be doing a quick tank review, a little update as to where my tank's at. I also wanna go over a couple future projects I have coming up as well as going over some sticker things. So as you know, I've been out of town. Just got back um, last week from France. Came back and everything looks pretty well in my tank. Everything looks stable uh, on the outside. Then I started testing my water and I realized I'm very low in alkalinity, very low on calcium, and my pH was dropping steadily. So what I did was I started testing my equipment and I realized that two things happened. One, my dosing pump went out. Uh, it turns out one of the motors jammed up and stopped dosing calcium and I think that caused a drop in the other levels as well. So I went ahead and kind of rigged that up. I am going to be looking for a new dosing pump so if you guys have a personal favorite please leave that down in the comments below. The second thing that happened was my Kato light that I have uh, attached to my sump actually fell into the sump and started rusting. As you can see this looks pretty bad. I think my tank got contaminated with a little bit of rust. Uh, we did a water change and hopefully things will start picking up here a little bit. So I had to go out and get a brand new Kato light. The one I went with was Innovative Marine. This light looked pretty sick. It had a ton of good reviews on Amazon, so I went ahead and picked it up. Retails for about 70 bucks. I'll do a whole other episode and review about that product down the line. So now that we got all the negative stuff out of the way, let's talk about some uh, cool projects we have coming up. A couple things I got, I got going on right now. One of them is I need to do a custom build for my quarantine tank. What I plan on doing is stuffing my Apex uh, in there and using it as like a controller housing um, underneath the quarantine. So I'm teaming up with my buddy Ben, he's in Massachusetts. We're gonna do a custom build on this thing so we can mount everything and essentially just have it look a lot better. Right now my sump and uh, underneath the tank area is just an absolute disaster. So looking forward to that project. The other project I have going on, which is pretty cool, more of a long-term project, is I'm trying to catalog my entire tank and all the coral and uh, livestock that I have. So my plan is I'm gonna take pictures of everything I do have, hopefully some high quality pictures, and publish it into a book that I can keep on my coffee table. So when somebody comes over to look at the tank, if they have any questions, they can just reference back to the book. And it'd be cool to kind of keep a history of everything that I did have in the tank. So I'll keep you guys updated on that project. Actually, this coming Monday, I just got a notice from Bulk Reef Supply uh, today actually. I rented a PAR meter. I noticed that some of my coral looked like it was receding and it might be because of lack or too strong of light. So I rented a PAR meter for $50 on Bulk Reef Supply. That comes in tomorrow, so I'll be doing a whole episode on using that. Should have that project done by next week for you guys. Let's talk stickers. While I was away, I got four more envelopes um, with stickers and I just have a plethora of these things. I want to take a minute out just to say thank you to everybody. This is probably one of the only hobbies where you get so much support um, by everyone. Everyone has their own brand, everybody has their own stickers, and we're just giving them away to each other. It's just phenomenal and, and a great time. I'm waiting till my build is complete so I can stick them onto that, um, and then I have to try to recover some for my wife because she likes to steal them from her water bottle. And that's pretty much it. The last thing I did want to mention, I know I've said it over and over, guys, I did team up with Coral Wear Clothing. They make these cool hats, they make shirts, they make all kinds of gear. Uh, the reason I like your stuff is obviously it's a quality product, but they also support coral restoration. So I like to purchase from them knowing that they have a good backing organization. So use the code TANK for a ticket advantage. Discount with them. Uh, any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. And please hit that subscribe button before you guys do go. Uh, I did recently create a Facebook page, it is listed as Tank Bro. And don't forget to visit me on Instagram at Tank Bro as well. Until next time, happy reefing.